and thank you, Wes, for inviting me to do this. This is the first time I ever read a book in public. I mean, this is truly my story. Thank you for the opportunity. So how many people are T-Rex fans? Well, before they were T-Rex, they were called Tyrannosaurus Rex. DJs made fun of them. We couldn't get anywhere. We thought every record we made was going to be a hit single. Uh, I used to shorten the name in my calendar to T-Rex. Mark Bolin got very insulted when he saw that. And uh, two weeks later, he changed the group's name to T-Rex. And uh, we had a big hit with Rider White Swan. All of a sudden, we had a hit, and we were still pooling our change together to get food and stuff like that. We had number two hit, and we were as poor as church mice. Anyway, the next hit was a record that we needed more of a band and we got, besides Pinky Finn and Mark, we got uh, Steve Curry and Bill Legend on drums. And we went into the studio and made a record called Hot Love. And we used Flo and Eddie the, from the Turtles, you know, Flo and Eddie. And uh, I could finally afford to go back from London, I, to go back to Brooklyn to see my mother and father. And for th three weeks I was in America, Hot Love was number one in England. And when I returned to England, Hot Love was still number one for a full six weeks. And uh, I know this is hard to believe in today's climate, but we were selling up to 65,000 copies a day. Fucking day. You got that? Okay, Hot Love! And Tony's going to play the bass on this, which is double good. And then halfway through, he's going to hand it over to Eddie, because Tony said that he can't really be bothered to play the last five minutes of the song. <laughs> so it'll be a bass changeover in the middle of the song. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we end, let's welcome back Mr. Dan Zanes on the spoons. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and Miss Eleanor Friedberger will come on and la la la. And other people will be here too. Let's see what happens. 